And today I am sharing the top five surprising tools that I use to help make decorating my home a breeze. So if you've ever tried to decorate pretty much any space that has a wall, girl, I got your back. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it easy. Hey decor friend, I'm Tamara with Design Your Way Home and I believe that decorating should not be difficult. So welcome to my internet home where I break down decorating into easy to follow steps so that you can confidently turn your house into a home you love one small space at a time. All right, so all of my boxes have finally showed up and I'm gonna cut into them and take a look, paying attention to the size and the color to make sure it matches what I was going for. So the first tip might not seem like it's very surprising at all because it's a tape measure, right? But the thing about the tape measure that I want you to pay attention to is that you need to measure everything. And child, I mean everything. So in my other video, I talk about my key takeaways about decorating the space and my lessons learned. So even though originally I measured the height of this, I didn't measure the depth. And that was a big mistake because sitting the lamp on here that I originally picked out wouldn't work because the base, the width of the lamp was way too big, especially since this area at least was indented. So the tape measure is a surprising tool because of how important it is. And it goes along with my second surprising tool that I use to decorate this space. And that is frog tape. So I'm going to pop up on the screen where you'll see how I use the frog tape to help make setting up my gallery wall a breeze. I was able to do it in like about 15 minutes, 30 tops if you count everything together. But the main thing was planning and measuring again and again and then marking the wall with the frog tape so that when it came time to actually hang the wall decor, it was a breeze. And the third tool was sketching everything on a piece of paper and then using my Envision board in Canva to make sure that I got the scale right. So if you look at what I showed on my iPad, my mock-up of the space, it's pretty close to scale the size of this painting and the lamp height, along with how everything is spread out on this table, it was all done ahead of time using the envision board technique that I teach inside of Design Your Way Home. And so just in case you didn't catch it, that was number three and number four. Number three was using the graph paper inside of Canva or using old school paper and pen graph paper to make sure that I get the height right. But even before that, sketching out how everything looks on paper first to just brainstorm different ideas before I go putting it into Canva or into a mood board mockup. And number four was the actual mood board mockup. So the number five tip for making decorating a breeze using surprising tools is using the decorating made easy jumpstart to make sure that I got the height right for the wall space. So, I'm backing up a little bit. This is a big blank wall and it can be so intimidating. I know I haven't hung a picture on here in the last eight years that I've lived here because I don't know about you, but I don't wanna go around putting holes all over my wall because I don't have the size right. And then when I realized a couple of years ago that you should go big or go home when it comes to hanging items on a wall, versus sitting picture frames on a table. I honestly was a little stuck on an easy way to use the canvas that I'd already bought and make art on it. And honestly, this past Sunday, I'd watched a quick six minute YouTube video on how to make abstract art easy. And I tried it and here we go. I've got, I think three colors, dark blue, light blue, oh, white and gold. So I've got four colors. I put the big canvas in the driveway. I got the paintbrush that was recommended and I painted it. And I already knew the size canvas to use because of understanding that you should go big or go home. So those are my top 
tips and my surprising tools that I use to help decorating and making it a breeze. So let me know in the comments, which one of these tips, one, two, three, four, or five, really surprised you? Or let me know, do you actually use all of those surprising tools? And be honest now, were any of these a surprise to you? I know that using frog tape is something that I never would have thought would be so helpful, but it is probably one of my top favorite tools to use when decorating. But before you go, let me pray with you, John 15, 12. And that is to love others as you love yourself. And so I pray that you learn and are able to share with others the true definition of love so that you can feel it more so in your life and that you can share it with others and spread the light around the world. Amen. All right, guys, that's it for today, Decor Friend. I will see you next time, and until then, happy decorating.